What's going on your uh, your coat today? Every day is a new one. Yeah, well, I've got this suit maker, LGFG, Dimitri, the crazy Russian, and he, you know, pays attention to what I'm doing and makes me the suits that he thinks are suitable. And uh, You've I wear quite them. Extravagant though, like sometimes like one half of the suit is one color. Yeah, like looks like, like you're getting bored. You just want to switch it up a lot. He sends me these damn things, and I get them, and I think, there's no way I I wear that. There's no way I'll wear that. And then I put it on, and I think, huh, I like that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tammy puts up with it, so. Is it everyday suits now with you? I'm in a suit pretty much all the time, you know. Is there a reason for that? Well, the original reason was because, um, probably because of my father. He was a teacher, and... uh, he always wore a suit, even in the 70s when that started to become, you know, like 1950s thing. And uh, I asked him one time why he did that, and he said it was to show respect for his students. And then when I was a professor, well, when you start to be a professor, you're not that much difference in age from your students to begin with. It's a good way of laying out a demarcation, mm. and that was helpful. That's useful. You know, people like to know how the hierarchies are delineated. Right. And professors like to think that they're everybody's buddy, but that's not the right relationship. And so that was helpful. And then when I went on tour in 2018, you know, I realized that I was going to speak live in front of several hundred thousand people over the course of the tour. And I thought, you got to think when you have an opportunity like that, that if you had the least amount of sense, you'd pull out all the stops. So I bought some expensive suits. And... Then one of the things that happened in, in consequence of that was that people started to come to the lectures in suits. And so about, I'd say about 40% of the audience dresses formally. And lots of the young guys who come, they tell me when I meet them afterwards in the meet and greets, for example, that they bought their first suit to come to the lectures. <laughs> and so, you know, I wouldn't have ever expected that. And then Dimitri showed up about two years ago with this portfolio of suits. He designed one for each of the rules for my first book and he put the rule underneath the collar at the back and designed the lining, custom lining on all the suits as well. And so I gave him a crack at it because he'd put so much work into it and and that worked out real well. He's very, very creative. Yeah, that two uh, color suit, there's lamb's wool on one side and goat's wool on the other and it's a heaven and hell suit. So, oh. uh-huh. yeah, no kidding, eh? And this is covered with iconography, um, Christian or uh, Catholic and Orthodox, I've got one of each, and uh, that's because I was out on tour with my new book, for my new book, which is called We Who Wrestle With God, which we will talk about today, I hope. 